everyone. This video is going to be on how to load a new operating system onto your uh, previously wiped BlackBerry. Uh, you can do it over an existing operating system as well. You can view through, go through some threads and uh, find out which one is for you. Um, in my case, it doesn't really matter. Mine happens to be wiped, but this will work either way. First thing you want to do is make sure on your PC by opening up your control panel and and uh, seeing what programs that you have installed under add, add remove programs uh, whatever the case is for your operating system uh, I happen to be using Vista you want to look for the BlackBerry software and it's pretty easy to pick out it has a little uh, BlackBerry symbol here in my case the top one here I have BlackBerry desktop software that you should have if you're running the desktop manager you're going to leave that alone if you have any previous device software, you want to remove that if that's the one that you are not going to be loading onto your device. Um, if you have an operating system that you're you're interested in loading onto your device and it has not been un installed on your, your computer yet and you see device software in your control panel, you want to uninstall it. In my case, I happen to have desktop software and device software. It's what I want. That's what I'm going to load. It's been previously installed onto my PC. So that's where we want to be at this point. The next thing we're ready for, to do is install this onto our from our PC onto our BlackBerry. You want to run the app order. Now at this point, you want to connect your BlackBerry to your PC. Go into the app loader, which is under in Vista. It's under computer your local hard drive, whatever that letter is, in my case it's C, in most cases it is. In Vista it's program files x86 or in XP it's just program files. Then common files, research in motion, and app loader. I have a shortcut right in my uh, quick launch bar so it makes it easy. Just called app loader. Once you get to the proper place in app loader, you're going to find the vendor file which is the last file in here. You're going to delete that file and click continue if you're in Vista to confirm that. And now you're ready to load this load this operating system onto your device. You're going to double click on the loader application which looks like a little Blackberry phone in the same folder. And it's going to bring you to the application loader wizard. You're going to click Next. It's going to show your PIN number. Click Next. The device is, uh, or the computer is now reading your application configuration, the device, the system, and the service information. Okay, at this point, it's been about five, six, seven minutes, something like that. I paused the uh, recording so you didn't have to listen to dead space here. So the next screen that comes up is Application Loader Wizard. We're going to click Next on that. So you can see that Subdued check marks is the 5.0 system software and the BlackBerry 5.0 core application. Or it could say 4.7, depends on what you're loading. In my case, it happens to be 5.0, but those two boxes that's actually the operating system being loaded onto your device. You can scroll down, look through the check marks if you want, and in include and not include certain things. Uh, in this case, it's just loading the top two things and nothing else. Because I can, I'm going to reload my backups that I've made for my device later on. So I'm going to click next. The next screen is completing the application loader wizard. It's showing you what it's going to what it's going to do to your BlackBerry updated to include the following software as it shows here. I'm going to click finish and we're going to let that finish. The whole process can take anywhere from 20 to 90 minutes. Okay so the loading operation was successful. Devices software has been updated successfully. You're going to click close and now your device will reboot itself and come up with the new operating system. To check when it comes up you go into options and about and you should see the operating system that you chose. And uh, that's it. Any questions, feel free to leave it in the threads. Thanks.